just see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Today we're actually gonna go ahead and talk about the Supreme Wheaties collaboration. Once again, I am gonna briefly cover it. This video might even be short as hell to be honest, but I do know that we are gonna be seeing a T come out with the collab and I do wanna go ahead and talk about that today. If you do end up enjoying this video, man, slap a fat like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new or would enjoy more of this type of content. Click the post notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and get straight. Matter of fact, yo, look at the sub count. It's up here. Subscribe to the channel, bro. Once we get to 20,000 subs, we're doing a big ass giveaway. Whether it's a box logo, a pair of sneakers, y'all choose. Just go ahead and subscribe and let's go ahead and get this shit on the road. But without any further ado, man, let's go ahead and get straight to it. So I'm not really going to talk about every single item. If you do want to see my opinion on the previous video, you can go ahead and watch that. And I'll try to link it up here if I remember. But I do want to talk about some of the retails for the items that I feel like are going to do the best. And the ones I'm going to go for, to be honest, we do have the manual carton cutter, which is basically the box cutter which is going to retail at $16 this is going to be us and japan only so eu we're sorry bro you're not going to end up getting this again as far as the box cutter goes i feel like resale is going to be around 40 dollars retail is actually really low so i expect this one to sell out first if not second we also do have the cereal box which is going to be a us exclusive this one is going to retail for around eight dollars nothing too spicy i feel like resale for this is going to be around 20 ish 25 dollars and mine you these are gonna expire so if you're gonna sell them you should go ahead and sell them quick or you can sell them as collectible items in the future as well we finally do have the s logo swarovski retail price and it's gonna be 300 that completely x's that shit out for me it's a whole dub like nah <laughs> i'm not paying 300 for that hoodie at all like it's not happening i'm good on that shit for sure like i'm gravy bro gravy with the biscuits on that piece right there like i'm gooch but we do have one piece that i feel like is gonna be a banger and it is the Wheaties T. This one basically just says Wheaties on the top and it has a box logo inside the piece. Both of these colorways are bangers. We have the white with the purple and red, which I feel like low key is the better one out of the two. And then we have the black with the yellow and orange. Both of these are gonna go for over $100 resell. That's my opinion. I feel like it's a box logo without them saying it's a box logo, if that makes sense. And I think it's pretty hard. Retail is gonna be $48. And this low key became my priority for this week. I need the Wheaties. I also need need that box cutter all those three pieces are bangers resale for this is going to be 100 to 120 dollars in my opinion the swarovski s logo beanie is actually a banger retail for that is 88 which is even lower than what i thought it would be to be honest i feel like that's a piece that i might end up going for but honestly it is getting shunned upon with the fact that the cause logo five panels dropping this week that one low-key took the hat shine i feel like this is another one that i'm definitely going to try to go for whether it's in the navy the black the gray the pink or the red those are the colors I'm low-key aiming for. I feel like this is going to resell for $80, maybe $90, but maybe that's just a long shot in my opinion. I feel like definitely $80 to $90 resell on that at first. Time will pass, and that will go for more as time goes on as well. Those are honestly my favorite pieces releasing this week. We do have the retail for the St. Michael Fleece, which is going to be $200. Resell for this is going to be $300 to $400. Trust me on that. I feel like if you're going to go for this, I would personally go for the multicolor one. I feel like retail is really good on this piece and resale is going to be even better do not sleep on the saint michael fleece jacket that one's going to be a banger for sure we got the muhammad ali zip up which is low-key kind of hard i'm not gonna lie to y'all that black one is looking like kind of a vibe to me the s logo sweats for 300 they are smoking tip on that that shouldn't have been more than 228 they're wilding on that one i'm not gonna lie to y'all we do have the floral applique short sleeve top which is another cool one i feel like this one's actually pretty solid it does have that supreme branding with like flowers inside of it i feel like retail for these pieces make it too high for me to even care retail is 78 dollars for a short sleeve shirt now nah. especially with that weedy shirt dropping this week they could keep that shit that shit is not selling out just trust me on that the kango hats are gonna be 60 for the actual fitted looking ass hat and then 68 for the 504 bermuda hat i don't know what that means but we good on both of these. The cause hat is definitely better than both of those pieces. This suede Harrington jacket is 
$500. They are wilding on that one, bro. $500 for a suede jacket. I feel like these retails are stupendous. Like, it don't make no sense. And low-key, that's pretty much the drop list. I feel like this week is actually turning out to be a fire-ass week. As far as resale goes, I feel like the better items to go for are the Wheaties because it has a low retail. The box cutter is definitely a banger, especially with that low-ass retail that we're getting. The Cause 5 panel is definitely a banger. That Wheaties tee is definitely the better piece to go for this whole week. I feel like the Swarovski shit low-key got shunned upon with this Wheaties tee. The items that I'll personally be going for is the Wheaties tee, the box cutter, the Wheaties cereal, the Cause hat, and I feel like I might just end it right there. I'm gonna stick to the lower retail items because I feel like the Swarovski beanie is fire, but how many beanies do I need? I literally have like over 20 of them and I don't really need any more, so I'm good on that. And then the other Swarovski pieces are just absurd, so I'm good on that for sure. So I covered Supreme. Now I wanna go ahead and talk about a couple other leaks that have nothing to do with Supreme. One of them being the Travis Scott Air Max 1. We recently did see a video release of this Air Max that looks like it's gonna be a Travis Scott collab. We got the OG Travis Scott colors on it, the mocha, the mustard colors with a little bit of red, and then the cream outsole. These honestly look like a banger, bro. I don't even have Air Max 1s, and I feel like this pair right here will get me to go ahead and buy some. I'm not gonna say that I'm not a hype beast, Let's not get it twisted. Air Max ones are hard. The Royal OG colorway, the red OG colorway, both of those are bangers. And I would honestly get them if I got the chance to buy them for retail. But this pair right here is a must with that backwards swoosh on it. Beautiful, bro. We're not even going to discuss it any further. Resale is going to be through the roof. It's rumored that these are going to release this year. So keep your eyes peeled because these bitches might be coming sooner than you think. We don't have a date for them yet, but it just says that they're coming soon. So you already know. We also are seeing that there's going to be a Jordan 3 Union collab. Honestly, people sleep on threes. I love Jordan 3s. And if they do this Union collab, which is rumored to happen, I'm all for it, bro. It's rumored that we're going to get a true blue colorway and a fire red colorway. Both of them are equally as fire. I feel like these are even more solid than the fours. Maybe that's my unpopular opinion, but I just love Jordan 3s. And I feel like with that cream outsole, switching the back tab color, the cream on the tongue, the cream on the laces, it definitely does give these a nice touch. But in my opinion, the fire red pair is definitely the better one. I feel like these are bangers. I love the colorway with that yellow stitching going around the upper. It's just beautiful. And if I can get my hands on these, you already know, bro. I don't have to say it. If these drop, I'm going for both pairs on sneakers. That's probably an L guaranteed, but it is what it is. I'm going to try. Nonetheless, these are solid. And if I can get my hands on them, I definitely will. Resale will probably be around six to 700, just like the fours. Maybe even more because these are OG colorways. So the OG sneaker heads will pop their head out for these so i definitely am a fan though let me know what y'all thought like i said before man this was gonna be a short ass video if you did enjoy go ahead and slap a fat like on it down below subscribe to the channel if you are new wouldn't enjoy more this type of content click the post notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel man subscribe down below if you're interested in any type of content let me know in the comments and i'll try my best to go ahead and get that out for you guys don't forget that once we get to 20,000 subscribers subscribers there's gonna be a major giveaway coming for you so go ahead subscribe i'm gonna put the number up right here let's go ahead and get to 20k if you show love to the channel man i will bring you guys another solid giveaway but with all that being said man i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out Never see the sun, always see the night. they say they want a real one they say they want a real one to make them feel young